Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Mr. Rhinos. It's a really great game. It's a very rock solid, fun, fast playing area control game that is delightful in how small it is. There's a lot of game in a very, very little tiny box. I mean, this box is definitely oversized. And in fact, we have taken this game on vacation just in a little tiny plastic bag because the game just you know, reduces down to nothing. It's almost kind of a shame that this scoreboard wasn't smaller. I mean, it could practically be the same size as just a couple of these tiles. But, uh, so it's a great travel game, but it's just a really solid game in general. And surprisingly, it works pretty well as a two-player game, which is a rarity for area control. The dummy player in the two-player version of this game is implemented really, really nicely. And it, you know, it doesn't slow the game down. It just gives you more to think about and more to ponder over and more to puzzle over. This game is really less of a, a you know, a, a a battle to the death like a lot of air controls and more of just like a constantly evolving puzzle because every turn it's going to be tricky to come up with the best move you can make both for yourself and for the dummy that you share control over to come out on top because you're chasing after immediate points you're chasing after special powers you're chasing after in-game area control of the museum there is just so much that goes on in this game it is so sharp and really a, a lot of fun we really like it quite a bit now that said it's good as a two-player game, but man, it's great when you get to more players. And we have actually had a chance to play this with more. And in all honesty, I... I've, I've, um, well, okay, I guess I can say we keep it. We keep it around even though we only ever get to play it as a two-player game, hoping that every once in a while we get to play it as a three or a four. Because it's interesting, when you get to a four-player game, the board doesn't get bigger. Everybody just gets fewer cubes. So, um, you know, it's still a very, very tight, very tense game. And over really, really quick. I mean, this is definitely under an hour, and yet there's so much game here in such a tiny footprint and such a tiny timestamp. It's absolutely amazing. And that's it, folks. That's... Oh, I can never remember how to pronounce it. I mean, <laughs> I've already forgotten. Uh, I know it's Inos. Uh, Misha Inos? Because I know the K... Whatever. Uh, Makarinos. <laughs> However you want to pronounce it, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Apologies for any mistakes I make. I know I was really towards the end of that extended playthrough starting to get frazzled. Sorry, Paulo. Um, but for the, the errors really don't matter when I forget to score points when I take a tile or something like that. This, these run-throughs are just about getting the flavor and the feel of the game. You should never use these run-throughs to try to learn how to play the game. That's what the rules are for. These are just to let you know if it's worth it to pick it up, because you should know, having watched me play, what this game feels like to play and whether you might enjoy it. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.